Hey everyone, it's a bit chilly here this morning, um, but I'm out here on the bus to continue working on the floor. Um, so in my last video, last couple of videos, I showed how I ripped up the old floor that was in the bus. That was a massive job, um, but I'm glad that I did it because I did find some small patches of rust and there was a few sections where the old plywood floor was rotting. So it was good to finally um, just get rid of it all and start with a nice clean slate. So this week I had an awesome mate of mine come out with his welder um, and he welded in some extra steel into the, the frame um, for the floor because there were some quite large gaps between the beams in the original frame and because I need to lay smaller sheets of ply when I lay the new floor, um, I just wanted to have some extra steel in between to make sure that that floor had plenty of support for when you're walking on it particularly up the aisle because i decided to fill in the aisle i thought long and hard about whether to use it as storage i didn't really want to put something like a water tank in that i was never going to be able to then take out if it needed to be fixed or um, you know replaced so um, i thought about just having some little storage containers that were accessible from inside at the front of the bus. That aisle section would then have to have a separate floor on it as well. By the time you lay the floor in there, I was only going to have a little bit over 100 mil height. So yes, I could fit some small things in there, um, but you know, I'm going to have a ton of storage in this bus with the layout that I have planned. Um, and I honestly don't think that the weight allowance that I'll have for my bus will allow me to even fill the storage space that I'm going to have. So it would have been quite fiddly to, to box in that aisle separately and, and create storage that you could access from the front. I just decided it wasn't worth it and it was much easier to just lay the floor on top and forget about it. So I know there's going to be people that think I'm crazy to do that. Um, hopefully I won't regret that decision, but you know, I, I honestly do not think I'm going to need the space and um, this was just a much easier way to do it in the end. So I'll show you what we've got. So all of these blue pieces are the new bits of steel that he's added in. So I've got steel going across the aisle, so I've got plenty of support now for walking up the aisle. Um, and I also got him to put some extra beams through the middle here that covered those big spans going across the bays. Um, if you're wondering why the one at the end is a bit off center compared to the others, it's because that's where my shower is going to go. Um, and I'm not 100% sure yet where the drain will be. I mean, I've got a rough idea, but I won't know for sure until the shower is in. So I wanted to make sure I left plenty of space um, in that area for the drain. So now I've got a really good, strong frame to support the floor. So the next task is now I'm just going to go around and um, treat those little bits of rust areas along the edges um, and I'm going to prime um, all the new steel and any other steel that I think I need to paint just to protect it from, um, from rust in the future. Uh, and then once all that's done, I'll be ready to lay the new floor. Yesterday I measured out and cut all the pieces of plywood that I'm going to be putting down on the floor and the reason I did that first is because I'm putting sheet metal down on this frame and obviously once the metal's down you won't be able to see where the beams are running underneath so it was just a good opportunity while I can still see the entire frame to measure and cut the boards so that um, they'll join exactly where I want them to. So I cut out all the pieces for the floor. I laid out all the pieces yesterday and I forgot to take a photo of them laid out but they fit really nicely on the floor. So fingers crossed they'll still fit nicely um, when I come to lay them down permanently. And I marked each piece so that I know which piece goes where when I come to lay it later on. So before I actually lay the ply on the floor I'm just going to go around and waterproof um, the edges where I've cut the boards. Um, because I'm using form ply, it's actually got like a waterproof coating on the, um, the two faces of the boards, but I just want to also go around and seal the edges where I've cut. 
Um, and I'm using this stuff, which is a water-based bitumen paint, um, which is supposed to be pretty good for waterproofing. So I'm just going to go and paint the edges of the boards with this. Um, and then once they're dry, they'll be ready to lay. paint the frame so I painted all the new pieces of steel that I added in and I also painted some of the areas that were particularly rusty so once I treated the the rusty areas I went around and coated everything with Penetrol really great for sealing up um, metal and protecting it from rust and then I went around and gave everything a couple of coats of this rust guard metal primer so hopefully um, I won't have too many issues with rust in the future so this is it guys, the official end to the demolition phase of my bus conversion. Um, I've stripped all the interior of the bus, I've done all the work um, as much as I can to repair the rust and clean up the frame um, and she's all ready now to start putting things back in. So the first job is to lay the new floor and then once that's done I can start building the inside. So I'm getting really excited now and I'm looking forward to turning this empty shell into my future home. So if you want to stay up to date with all my future videos then please remember to subscribe to my channel and I look forward to sharing my progress with you all.